Hi everybody. Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> and if that cold weather is supposed to be leaving here soon and could be headed and is headed for the States, beware. This morning when we went out shopping, it was minus 28 Celsius. It was so cold and we have a wind blowing from the north, so it is very, very cold. And I think that's about 19 Fahrenheit, minus 19 Fahrenheit. It is cold. And uh, what happens, I've never seen it get that cold. So we came home from shopping and I went out to check the greenhouse. And I heard the fountain going, so I thought, well, that sounds good. Go in the furnace, the heat, little heater was on. I thought, okay, but not okay. The pond was all ice. And when I went to put the water jug in there to get a bit of water, it was, it was frozen. There was a little spot where the fountain was still running where I could get some water. And I gave the two fruit trees a little bit of ice water. Because I and I gave the geraniums a little bit, but they had all been in flower and they were all hanging. And I had the two dendrobiums out there, and I had the cymbidium out there. The cymbidium doesn't look too good, but I would have filmed it, but it's too cold to even go film. It is very cold, and I thought, well, there's nothing we can do now. It's already froze like that. I've never seen ice on the pond. Never, never, never. It is cold. And um, so anyway, it's pretty disastrous out there. But you're just going to have to wait. And I'll go clean things up. And we have oranges that are orange but probably frozen on the trees. We have lemons that are yellow probably frozen on the trees. So maybe when it warms up, I did turn the heater up a little bit, but I'm not sure what's going to happen. But we apparently have some warmer weather coming, and that'll be a time to go out and assess everything because we can't change what's already happened. So I want to tell you to be prepared. Now, I did walk around to all my windows, and I watering day was Wednesday, so... When I watered, I made sure all the, all the orchids were not anywhere near the glass and I moved them all in to the closest to the room. And I want to show you um, how they're looking and what ones are flowering for Christmas. Not many, but there's lots coming. But if you don't want to lose those buds, you don't, like if you have your orchids in windows like I do, you don't want those buds to be facing that glass. <laughs> if you've got this cold front coming to your area, please go and watch and change what you have to change. Now some some I did bring in onto the counter and, uh, and, and then we're supposed to have all this company and my brother says he says they're going to make it. But down there, they got more snow than we do. We didn't get really any more snow. We just got cold and wind. And uh, so anyway, they're supposed to get a whole bunch more snow today and then freezing rain. And who knows what's going to happen on the mountain passes. So I'm making cranberry sauce right now. Tomorrow we're picking up the turkey. And it's a free-range turkey, so we're picking up tomorrow and hopefully cooking it <laughs> for Christmas morning. So, um, sometimes they close the coca hell if it's real bad, and he says he'll take the Fraser Canyon. Oh my goodness. Well, <clears throat> we'll have to wait and see about that. So, anyway, um, I love free-range turkey. Uh, years ago, I worked in a plywood plant, and I run, I ran a planer, and I also run a great big laminating press. It was all women that worked there. They took advantage of us. <laughs> we weren't getting paid enough, I'll tell you. And the laminating press was as big as this room, 
and it turned around, you put boards in. Anyway, that is a long story, but they had unsafe glue they never told us about, and it had formaldehyde in it, and they said it was safe, but there was a big strike, and it was a 99% strike vote, and we were out almost a year. But during that time we were out, uh, we had a turkey on the barbecue. And it was a free-range turkey, and it was delicious. So I have high hopes for this being the best turkey we've ever had. And um, <laughs> anyway, that company went broke, and they deserved it because people were really sick. They were getting all kinds of hair falling out and awful things. But that's another story. You know, things happen. <laughs> So anyway, that was my only experience with a strike, and it was a long one. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take you around and show you the windows and show you what I've done. And if your orchids are near windows and you can move them in, then uh, those you know check the temperature, have a therm therm thermal stuff therm thermometer near to where your orchids are so you know what the temperature is but it doesn't matter what the temperature is don't let any of them touch the glass because if it's freezing outside and it's headed your way you don't want them touching the glass so I'm going to give you a little tour explain what I did and luckily I had done it because we got this terrible, terrible cold. It was about minus 20, and that didn't seem as bad, but I'll show you what it looks like. We have clear, sunny skies, and not really any more snow. I got my blow-up uh, snowman out there. We found him, and he's out. But that's what it looks like, so it's... Um, pretty pretty nice to look at <laughs> so over here now luckily I have enough windows to do this because um, I have the most of the buds on my other ones facing inside because even though it's bright out there um, whoops. I don't know if I can do that with my left hand or not I have most of the flowers facing in. Even though the light is out, then I don't. you don't want to lose a bud blast because even if they're near that cold window, this could happen if there's an extreme cold like we just had. So, and I have my misters going. But in here... I better go turn my cranberries down. I think I'm making cranberries. I think most of them have popped. So now I can turn it real, real, real low. There's a dip. I used uh, maple syrup, Canadian maple syrup instead of sugar, and organic cranberries. I think I can actually turn it off. In here, this is liver I cooked up for Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So yes, you can see here that I've got them facing in. We have one little mini or mini orchid opening here. She's so pretty. She wanted to be first. These are the two that were in the greenhouse during the heat dome, and I didn't know it. And they were out there. I thought they were dead. And here they are. They are flowering for Christmas, and they're doing very well. So, and up here, this one here, we might, we might be open for Christmas here. And down here, the Monet pot, the, the three sewer pot, has three open, and these are a little behind. But I have all the buds coming in. Even though the light is out there, I have them coming in. Nothing near the glass. Because the house is 72, but in the window it's saying 60. 
That's what it's saying. And I got the misters on, and it's about 48. And, and here, this one's saying 40, but without it, we're down near 20. So, I moved all those in. And then, um, I'm still waiting for Herella Reticella to open. And I think if that's a new root, it, I think it's probably a new root on the Dendrodium wassily. I think it is. Not sure, though. So I did bring Minnie Mart out of the window because she has a little spike coming down there. And I did bring um, the Peloric Orchid, Sogo Vivian, I think she is. Yeah, so go Vivian. I did bring her in too because I she has such a nice little spike there coming and so healthy and I didn't want her to get the cold because even the plates are cold, the anything touching is cold. So here I do have these facing in. They they have a chance of opening and Things are looking looking okay, but you can see this needs to be done because it is cold. So beware. So these are only near the edge here, and it's saying that it's 60 in the window. A little more humidity here with the misters going. So, so please be careful. And I want to make sure you have a very good Christmas from all of us here at our house. And thank you for participating in this channel and sending me comments that uh, I enjoy an awful lot. Thank you and Merry Christmas.